Welcome back. Right now, you can catch the newly released musical comedy, Praise This, streaming on Peacock right now. But film critic Lenita Cook sat down to get a few words from the cast about filming. Check it out. I know the Lord can see my potential, I've been working I told him it's been up since I met you, pull the curtain You always give the word I'm deserving, that's for certain I was tired of being tired of being tired, yeah Praise This is one of my favorite movie genres What separates this movie from others is the tension between Sam and Jess Will we corrupt? <laughs> <laughs> or will we save? <laughs> and so for you, what is the dynamic between Sam and Jess? They are the perfect sister cousins. Sister cousins. Mm -hmm. I think they have that perfect like yin and yang balance where they one really like loves the other, the other wants nothing to do with them, but then they both eventually soften and they like just join together and end up loving each other. I love those types of relationships. We just get that in a sister cousin. Chloe, we know you can sing. Mm -hmm. I have been watching you. So proud to see what you've done. Multi Grammy nominated musician and now movie star. And you're playing Sam, someone we are also rooting for. She is suffering grief from the loss of her mother and she's trying to find her way. So I'm wondering how you feel about music and its power to heal, uh, not just relationships, but our internal wounds. For Sam, music was her therapy. And just like for Chloe, music is my therapy. And I feel like we all need an outlet, so we're never storing emotions in here mm -hmm. and have them come out in unhealthy ways. And I feel like music is the universal language that everybody understands. Everybody can feel and emote the same. And I'm just grateful that I have had music as my therapy, just as Sam has had. bring some emotional weight. Did you have yes. to dig, dig, dig deep? Or yeah. what, did that no, also come No, that's naturally me. Yeah. I think people just don't see that side. So mm -hmm. it wasn't too much digging deep. I think, you know, majority of all comedians are emotional. Yes. Yeah, man. Y'all don't see that side. <laughs> I'd be crying. Okay. <laughs> I'm lying, but nah, on a serious note, You'll though, be yeah, crying, I, mean, I, I know yeah, you'll be crying. Yes, yeah. yes. I mean, and I think that you do a role like this yeah. where you are the comedy relief, mm -hmm. because it's not just relief yep. for you, it's yep. the relief for us. And yes. so in order to do that, you and have to And that's the real, stuff. man. Like, this is, our, our people, we are funny. Like, if you know any, if you've ever been to a black church or just being around black people in general, we have our ways of just being fun, even in serious situations. So this is it's all just it, 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 that's where it meant for me. Like I knew I would be that person for this movie and I, I loved it. We're talking about a culture blend. You're taking like the popular culture yes. and blending it with the gospel culture. Yes. There was a couple songs that came on. I said, I don't know how to act right, right? now. Right, yes, <laughs> like, which is good. We, that's, how, that's how we want it. So I think there is a place for, of course, pure gospel church. And then there's this sort of evangelical kind of place that is meant to reach new people that might not ever come to church. And it's meant to be, um, like I say, I like to be at the intersection of sinner and saint. So if we ever get too preachy or ever get too like edgy, we just need to be respectful of kind of like that world and, and ride that intersection. So it's meant to make you uh, recognize the the, the ratchet part and, and try to be righteous, please, people. <laughs> <laughs> From ratchet to ratchet. <laughs> Something like that. Something like that. Heaven and earth adore you. Can I get an amen? Amen. This is something that the, the choir competition, it has a lot of energy, but it is in itself universal. Bringing in the gospel, which is itself a particular subculture, into this thing that is universal for everybody. Right. Well, you know, I think when we first started this project, we were thinking, how do we tell a story about the competitive world of praise teams that would be interesting and appealing to people who know nothing about praise teams? To people who don't go to church, right? Who don't have like a, a strong faith or a relationship with God. How do we tell a story that would engage them? Music is the entry point. Music is the way, that's what draws you in. The music in this movie is great, it's enthralling, it's energetic, it's fun. Then, once we get you in through the music, we bring you in through a Cardi B and, and, and Meg Thee Stallion mashup, 
Once we got you in there, it's a story about a young woman trying to find her voice, mm -hmm. trying to find her faith, and get in touch with her spirituality, which she feels like she's lost. And that, to me, is the real power of filmmaking.